obedience is more meritorious than any other penance. And what greater penance can there be than keeping one's will continually submissive and obedient? Hello everyone! Today is the feast day of St. Catherine of Bologna. Catherine de Vigri was born in Bologna on Mary's birthday in 1413 to a noble family. Her father was a diplomat and an agent to the Marquis. At the age of 11, she was appointed the maid of honor to the daughter of Marquis, Margaret Destin, and shared her training in education. She had all the world could offer her in court life, but it left her empty. So, after her mistress got married, and after the death of her father, Catherine joined a group of Franciscan Territaries to begin a life of joyful penance at the age of 14. Catherine was determined to live a life of perfection and was admired by her companions for her holiness. Eventually, her community became part of the poor Claire Nuns. They established Corpus Christi Monastery in Ferreira, where Catherine would live most of her life as a cloistered nun for about 30 years, many of which she spent as novice mistress. The reputation of the community for its holiness and austerity became widespread. Catherine was an incredibly prolific artist, writer, and philosopher, leaving behind many important pieces of work. Her long tenure as novice mistress led her to record many practical tips for the spiritual life. One of her famous works is The Seven Spiritual Weapons. This work gives practical advice for resisting the devil's attacks in seven categories. She also wrote The Twelve Flower Gardens of Perfection, a poetic scriptural work on progress in the spiritual life. In 1456, she returned to her native city to start Corpus Domini Monastery, where she served as abbess until her death. As abbess, Catherine worked to preserve the peace of the new community. Her reputation for holiness drew many young women to the poor Claire life. In 1463, Catherine became seriously ill, and she died on March 9th. Buried without a coffin, her body was exhumed 18 days later because of cures attributed to her and also because of the sweet scent coming from her grave. Her body was found to be incorrupt and remains so today in the church of the Poor Clare Convent in Blokna. Did you know that St. Catherine Drexel once visited her body when she was young? St. Catherine Drexel once visited the body of St. Catherine of Globe and thought that the body was that of St. Catherine of Siena. St. Catherine of Globe was canonized in 1712. She is the only saint known to have painted her self-portrait. St. Catherine of Blovna is the patron saint against temptations and of art, artists, liberal arts, painters, Italy, Blovna, and the Blovna Academy of Arts. Let us pray. St. Catherine of Blovna, your reputation for holiness drew many young women to the road to each life. Help us to obey God's will just as you did when you were sent to establish a poor Clare monastery in Florence. St. Catherine of Blue, pray for us to come holy. Amen. Peace, Maria.